I did have a question for you because I'm not actually super familiar with flex, flex consumption that much. I know you talked about it a little bit, but I'm super familiar with the other plans. Can you kind of talk about like when and why and how, like when, who would choose what plan basically? Right. Yeah. So uh, flex consumption is, it should be the new uh, standard uh, plan. So if you, uh, your default plan, if you don't know which plan to use, just choose flex consumption. Um, and if flex consumption is the, the best, if you want basically scale to zero, and if you have networking uh, requirements, for example, or if you need very fast scaling out and in. Um, so the, the, uh, you know, the majority of our customers nowadays, they have to either reach so, uh, services that are protected behind a network or uh, they want to have the function itself only be accessible from inside services that are inside that network and flash consumption allows that while still being able to scale to zero. Uh, for the, the premium plan, it, it's a, a great plan if you need uh, Windows because Flex is only uh, limits based. So if you have a dependency on Windows or if you want to take advantage of paying for uh, an instance, so say a, a whole VM and putting multiple function apps in, inside of it. So take advantage of that, that entire uh, instances that, that the, the uh, premium plan offers. And they still have it scaling out and in based on the uh, events that are you know, triggering your functions. And then finally, the app service plan is a great uh, hosting plan if you want to share both functions and web apps. Uh, so if you have a solution that you're already taking advantage of web apps and you want to utilize the compute that you're paying for in app service uh, really well and still have Azure functions there as part of your architecture, and that's where you would you know, use app service plans. Or also um, app service plans, they have some really, really large uh, instance sizes that you can use. So if you have solutions for functions that require a lot of memory or a, a, a lot of CPU, then app service has you know, those offerings as well. And then the final one is container apps. If you want to bring custom containers, if you have you know, if you require to use GPU, for example, with your functions, then deploying uh, function apps to container apps is the, the final uh, offering there that is uh, becoming very popular nowadays. Yeah, I love it. Ooh.